Hello students, this is your instructor for medical terminology and I made this short quick video for you to understand the actual concept and the various parts of a medical term um, used in healthcare professions. Basically, it's a medical language that we all have to um, know really well in order to be confident in our professional um, life as a healthcare professional. So let's begin. A few quick tips for you to see how you can memorize them. You can find flashcards online, review them, practice again and again. If you see and if you say them and if you see it, if you say it, if you write it down, it will help you remember and memorize very faster than uh, anything else. Um, okay, so coming to actual medical term, we have to understand the various parts um of a medical term it is a word root a combining form prefix and a suffix so what is a word root it's a fundamental meaning of the term what is fundamental it is the actual body part if you're talking about stomach we will say gastro if you're talking about heart we will say cardio so the root word is always the part of the body prefixes and suffixes pre as you can see, means pre always means something that comes before. So it's the beginning of any medical term, and it's a prefix. So um, a prefix is something that defines the word root, that defines the part of the body, actually what are we talking about. And so is a suffix. It comes at the end of the medical term and also defines or modifies the word root that we're talking about. Combining vowels are actually... Vowels, A, E, I, O, U, that connects the two words together. Um, the prefix to the root or the root to the suffix, it just connects the two words together for us to able, for us to be able to pronounce it correctly. So here's an example, osteoarthritis. You can see we have osteo, O, arthritis. So oste is actually the word root coming from the body, meaning bone. O is just a vowel. A combining vowel that connects the osteo to arthritis to arthro the arthro is actually also another root word which is further defining the medical term and it means a joint itis is the suffix that comes at the end of the uh, medical term and defines or modifies the root word here we're talking about inflammation so this suffix means inflammation. Itis means inflammation. So don't get confused between the word roots and everything. Remember, everything has a name. These are the actual body parts, but we call them a root in a medical uh, medical uh, term or medical part of uh, the part of the medical term. This is the combining vowel. This is the root again, and this is the suffix. There is no prefix in here. Another word similar to what we just um, did before, cardio, myopathy. Okay, and you can see the combining vowels connecting the two root words to the suffix meaning the disease. So now we're talking about the disease of the muscle. Here we were talking about the inflammation of the muscle. So now we know anytime you see our Arthritis, it is inflammation. Let's we all know how arthritis is, right? We all understand arthritis, so that's easy to remember. And anytime we say pathy, that's another name for the disease. So again, there's a few examples of everything here. You have a word root, which is the cardio, cardiogram. Gram means to record and remember electrocardiogram is another word we all know. ECG that means that we are recording the electricity of the heart muscles, right? Pericardium, this is a prefix. Peri means around, around the heart. And there's a layer of the heart that covers it from outside. That's what we call it as a pericardium. Then we have the suffix, which means inflammation, as we just reviewed before. So now it is a suffix attached to the root word. Same root word, right? Different prefixes different suffixes giving it a different meaning and that is all a medical term is all about now if you know itis you can put any root word in front of it and make a different disease if you put arthritis in arthro instead of cardio you're going to make it inflammation of the joint if you put gastro 
it will become gastroenteritis or gastritis, meaning inflammation of the stomach. Okay, again, when we say combining form instead of the combining vowel, all we are doing here is just connecting these two words together, connecting the root to the vowel, and we call it a combining form. So don't get confused between the combining vowel and a combining form. If they say combining vowel, we were only, we're only talking about the O. If they say combining form, we are talking about the root and the vowel. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to run through some of these um, slides, and I want you to pause, slow down, and, and just kind of memorize, review it again and again, make your own words using the roots, prefixes, and suffixes here. Another thing I want to tell you is sometimes a word or medical term will not have a root word. For example, hypertrophy. Hypertrophy means, hyper means excessive, trophy means development we can say hypertrophy of the heart muscle, right? That's just another word that describes other root words, other words that have a root word in it, and we are talking about a disease. So when we say, when we say hypertrophy of the heart muscle, that means there is something additionally involved with a heart disease, okay? And remember, these are just two, two words, two terms, uh, one one is a prefix and one is a suffix. So these there are variations, and you will learn and, and learn more as you go through practicing them. There is a word gastroenteritis, showing you the value of the vowel. That if we take that out, it becomes difficult to pronounce. These are some of the combining forms, and remember I said combining form is also attached to your root. So they can write it this way, or they can just say combining form. It's the same thing. You are looking at both right here. These are all your combining forms. Slow down. I'm kind of running fast. Um, these are your prefixes, okay? These are various prefixes that are very commonly used in the uh, medical terms. These are different suffixes attached at the end of the term. Try making some some different uh, um, terminologies to practice, and uh, okay, so that's it. That's all I wanted to tell you. Make sure you use this in understanding your assignments, in uh, answering your question in the discussion, and also with your assessments. Any questions? Please keep in touch with me.